Then the young man came forward, they wrapped up his body, carried it out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. Peter asked her, tell me, is this the price that you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said, that's the price. And Peter said to her, how could you agree to test the spirit of the living Lord? Look, the feet of the man who buried your husband are at the door. They will now carry you out also. And at that very moment, she fell down at his feet and died. And then the young man came in, finding her dead, carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear seized the whole church and all who heard about these events. See so here, they don't honor the, the presence of God. They don't honor the presence of God amongst the people of God. And they blatantly are starting to lie to leadership and covering sin. Covering sin and lying. And as a result, these two people drop dead. And God had to do this. You know why? If God doesn't do this in the book of Acts at the foundation of the church, there would not be an example to bring the fear of the Lord to the church. And I can tell you stories. It says in 1 Corinthians... That there's many people that are in the church in Corinth taking communion. It says, many of you are taking the communion unworthily. That's it. You're, you're sinning and you're living in compromised lifestyles and you're taking communion unworthily. And because of this, many of you are sick and even some of you have died. Yeah. This is in the New Testament. That's it. Some people were sinning actively, knowingly, go and take communion, mocking God. And then they got sick as a result. Praise God if you only get sick. That's it. See, sometimes God has to allow this mind. This is His mercy. His mercy comes in minor judgments. So that He'll shake you and awaken you before you move into greater sin. So that's New Testament. So let's just bow our heads.